friends, are you interested in making an owl amigurumi? This is a quick and easy pattern that you can work up very, um, very fast and you can turn it into a bag charm as well. My son has one on his back sometimes, right? So what you will need for this is a keychain, obviously, if you're making it into a bag charm. You will need, can you hold these honey right here? These are nine millimeter animal eyes and you need their backings to secure. You also need, whoops, <laughs> you need to not drop them. <laughs> Tapestry needle to sew in all the ends as well as a stitch marker to help you keep track of where it is. You can put it here, honey. You will also need a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook as well as sharp scissors. Now what you need for the owl is yarn. We chose light blue for the, for the yarn. We're using a lovely DK weight. You also need white for the, the eyes. And to embroider the beak, we like to use this orangey, peachy orange color. I think that a peachy orange color makes for a nicer beak. The regular pumpkin orange is a little bit too harsh when I, when I use it with my owls, but it's up to you. The lovely yarn that we're using today is from a lovely company called Hobium, Hobium Yarns. We're using their Lamia Cottony, which is 100% cotton. And to be honest, it is so soft and it is so lovely. The sti stitch definition is nice. I don't know why this was there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I pretty much have them in every color. They were kind to send me the minis, and if you use the minis, then you could make so many owls in so many different colors. They are really great because not only are they affordable, but they use DHL to deliver these yarns. And it takes only two days to come to Hong Kong, which is great. They have a wide range of colors, and I've used them for nearly everything. So this is a DK weight. If you're interested in purchasing the yarn, you just uh, take a look at the description box below. So these are the these are the things that you need, and stick around. We are going to do some simple, 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 simple stuff here. I I will be using a stitch marker just so that it's easier to see. I usually put them in the first stitch of the round. So doing a magic magic ring. Let me put this owl over here so it's a little bit out of the way. So what I like to do is to put six in your magic magic ring. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And tighten that up so that's the magic ring right there six in the magic ring now the next uh, here we go in the in round two I will put two single crochets in each stitch which is an increase all around increase one increase two Increase three, increase four, increase five, increase six. I do apologize that it's very hard to see the stitches because this is white yarn and it happens to be very thin. So uh, I, I think it's a DK weight. So I will have the written pattern as well. I'll put those in the links and I'm planning to share them with Hobium. Okay, so we increase this round. Now the next round we are going to do increase one. So we're going to increase in the first stitch one single crochet in the next, and then we repeat. Increase. And then one single crochet in the next. Increase in the next. 
and we just keep repeating that and one single crochet increase one single crochet one single crochet increase one single crochet increase and one single crochet in that last one over there now we just have one more round to do we're going to increase in the first stitch so let me just put that marker there for me the marker helps even though it's such a short round uh, number of rounds I mean increase and then single crochet one single crochet in the next so a sing increase in the first stitch single crochet in the next single crochet in the next so increase and then you'll do single crochet single crochet increase single crochet single crochet and just repeat that until you finish the round at the end I like to tighten it just a bit so that when you put the eyes in later there's not too much of a gap so weave this in this one that was uh, from when you started leaving a long tail so that we can sew this later we'll cut it here and fasten off I'll be back Please make a second one, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I made the two eyes, and we're just going to set that aside so that we can sew it on later. So I will just put it right here. Now get the color that you want your owl to be. I will choose this lovely blue, because actually this is not only my favorite color, but it's also my son's favorite color, isn't it? Yeah, he's saying yes off to the side. He's being so good and so quiet for me. <laughs> so let's take this, do a magic ring, and let's put six single crochets into that, just, just like the eyes. We're following kind of the same idea here. So we're putting six single crochets. Four, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, next round, increase all around. Add a stitch marker, that always helps me because I'm always talking to my son or getting distracted, so that stitch marker really does help me out a lot. Oops, hold on, oh, here we go. Increase all around. So we will increase every single stitch. So basically this owl is just kind of like a, a little bit like a bucket and then we're closing the top. So it's really easy and sweet. Let's see here. And I made a bag for a friend kind of doing something similar but with a bulky yarn and I left the bucket open and I thought hey this kind of looks like an owl <laughs> so here we're going to tighten this up okay so we increase that round the next round guess what we're going to do we will do an increase in the first stitch so here's my increase in the first stitch then one single crochet and we'll repeat that pattern so increase in the next stitch, do one single crochet in the next stitch. You just keep doing that increase in that stitch, one single crochet in the next. Repeat until the end of the round. So owls are something I've always liked to make. It was one of the first things I've ever made for friends and I would make owl mobiles actually using the exact same method and 
It was a big hit, actually. Next round, once you finish that previous round, we're going to increase and single crochet too. So increase in that first stitch, then one single crochet, and then another single crochet in the next. So increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, and repeat. Increase, and then single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next. So you can use these owls and give them different eyes by embroidering different whimsical eyes, and then you could use ribbon or twine to connect them, and it makes a nice wall hanging or a baby mobile. And it adds something special, I think. Sorry, it's shaking, I don't know why. So increase and one and two, increase. Increase. And so basically this round is exactly like the eye area that we did. Increase. Single crochet. And single crochet. Next round. Increase in that first stitch. And then one single crochet one. And then next stitch, single crochet one. The next stitch, single crochet one. So that's three single crochets. And repeat. Increase in one stitch. And single crochet in the next three stitches. I'm making sure that this is not shaking. I'm really sorry about that. So sing, uh, increase, single crochet in the next three stitches. And keep repeating that until the end of the round. I think I need to invest in a proper tripod. I'm actually just hanging this over and the shaking of it. So I'm going to pause and we'll continue the next round after I can secure this in place so that it's not so dizzy for everybody to watch. Okay, I think that's better. So you should have finished your last round, which was an increase in single crochet three, or sorry, um, you should have finished your last round, which was an increase, and then single crochet in the next three stitches. We're going to do one more increase. So we will increase in the first stitch. And single crochet in the next four stitches. So now this next part is pretty easy. We'll just single crochet in every stitch around for 11 rounds. So I'll do the first one and then I'll meet you back after I finish the rest of the rounds. So here we go. I do And I was pleasantly surprised about their 
their color range as well as yarn range actually. So if you want to use this cottony yarn for let's say like a baby baby item like baby clothes or hats it's wonderful for that it's really soft the stitch definition is really great and then on top of that it holds its structure well for amigurumi especially when you're using a smaller hook so I'm a huge fan of it and I'm currently using it to make my Ollie in Space videos so hopefully that will be coming soon I just wanted to have a video of this pattern so that if you're planning to make it for the holidays then it's there and it's free and I hope that if you like this pattern that you'll like my other patterns as well uh, so I just did one round we need a total of 11 rounds and then meet me back here after you're done after you've made your single crochet rounds uh, 11 rounds to be exact it will look something like this kind of like a bucket and then you will attach the eye like this between rounds, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, uh, twelve and thirteen. So between rounds twelve and thirteen, you add the eye. Then you want to do a secure it by using a stitch around here. And then when you take the second eye, you will take your 9 millimeter amigurumi eyes to make it extra surprised look on this owl's face. And then you will place it in the same stitches. So between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Between 12 and 13, so that the, the white parts of the eyes are touching. You see right here how it's right next to each other, right? And I like to put this like that and secure it in the back like that. Now, using your favorite stitch method, you just stitch it around using the long tail and a tapestry needle, and I'll be right back. So, you embroider the beak however you like and then I will do that and show you what to do. I do one horizontal line and then I go back right here and then I go on one side of the eye so that it makes a side beak over there and then I go through the same the same bottom stitch, the point of the beak, and then I go through the other side of the eye over here. I know the lighting is kind of bad, the weather is not so great here, and I don't have any studio lighting. So once you do that, um, I guess you could just leave it there. Yeah, I do it like that pretty much. Oops, you can see it a bit too much here. There. Going to cut the yarn and secure it in place. Okay, so we're going to do a decrease. So let's do a decrease here. And then you can add your stitch marker. We'll do a decrease. Sorry about that. Let me add this. And then you will do a single crochet in the next four stitches. So decrease first, and then single crochet four. And then you just do that as a repeat. So decrease, and single crochet in the next four.
just delete there. Okay, we're going to do decrease again on the next round. And then we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches. So you do a decrease and then single crochet three. One, two, three. Little helper, are you ready? Yeah. You want to do the stuffing? Yeah. Come on over here, I need your help. So, this is my son's favorite part to do the stuffing. Can you bring the stuffing over to this side and then you can help me so that we can get it on camera? Oh, on this side, honey. Come over on this side. Thank you. And then you will stuff this. Wow, that's a lot of stuffing. Are you going to try to put the whole thing in? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me just finish this round. So remember, it is decrease and then three single crochets. All right, so let's stuff this, stuff this owl. Okay. Well done. I'll move this away. Well done. We need to stuff him a bit more, don't you think? <laughs> Very good. You're like an no, you can do it. Thanks. You're like an excellent fluffer. <laughs> He's fluffing the the stuffing. He's quite good at this. Have you done this before? Yes. Yes. I think we need do we need more or you think that's enough? I think that we need more. You need more, okay. So let's move this over. I think that is probably perfect for this. So you put it right there. Yay! Great, great, great. Okay, so now, thank you. That was very nice. So, now what we do is we need to close this up. However, depending on where you put the eyes, it really will make a difference. So basically what we want to do is we want to move the last stitch over so that we can single crochet through both sides after we flatten this owl. So as you can see where I put the eyes, the stitch is back here. So I'm going to do some slip stitches until I'm at a place where I can be on the side of the eye. Yeah, something like, well, I guess I should do one more so that I can flatten this owl and to close it, we're going to do some single crochets. So when you flatten it, you just try to center it the way you like it. So for me, I like it like this. And then you go through both, both sides and then you single crochet through both sides, but I could not see the other side. Hold on a second, here we go. Okay, you single crochet through both sides to close it up. It's quite easy and once you do that, you can go back and use the long tail to add your keychain if you like. So for me, I am going through both sides here. You just insert the crochet hook on this side and insert it on the back side. And then you do a single crochet to close it up. So that way the stuffing stays inside. I feel like I've seen a lot of these owls around. Um, even in a drawing, right? Like they have really big eyes, pointed ears, but I've been making this since, gosh, when was the first time I made it? Like 2000, 2002? It was a long time ago when my friend had her baby and I just made her three of these with three different facial expressions. And then I turned it into a mobile. So you just, cut a long tail and then you pull it through what does your shirt say poopay poopay minions <laughs> and then you take your long tail you put it on a tapestry needle you can 
let me bring it closer here. You can find your way back by going into the stitches all the way to the middle. Let me see. Does, that, does this look like the middle to you? Right here? That video was seven minutes long. It's seven minutes long. <laughs> I'm almost done. Almost done. And then we can play. Okay? Uh, and then you can attach your your keychain. And these keychains, uh, if you're interested in purchasing these, you let me know and I'll put them on my Etsy shop. I'm happy to sell them. And I buy them in bulk here in Hong Kong, so if you're interested, I'm more than happy to sell. You just leave a comment and let me know. Uh, secure this by doing a series of stitches here. For me, I like to go in and out of the same stitch a few times. And then you secure it with the method that you like best. For me, I take once I feel good about how, mu how much, uh, how secured this part is, I just go and take it to the bottom of the doll, and then I secure it with the stitches that are down here by putting it into a stitch. And of course you, you do as you please, but this is just how I do it. I just go in and out of stitches, securing it like this, and yeah, so you secure it how you like and comfortable with. And you can make this owl as big as you want as well. You can just keep increasing, decreasing. Sometimes I, I increase to to um, eight and make a really big snuggly one. And then you pinch the ears. And then it's time for the wings. Now the wings, this one is just, let me show you, it's quite quite easy. You just take it in whatever color you'd like. For me, I'm just using the same blue. And I wish this was not shaking. I'm going to have to find a tripod option. So what we're going to do is we're going to put six single crochets into the magic ring. So add six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to increase in every stitch. So you increase in one, increase in two, increase in three, increase in four, increase in five, increase in six, and then this is the easiest part. You close that part up. You just do two Let's see, one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochets in, in that first stitch. And then you do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're gonna repeat that. So three double crochets into the next stitch. Three double crochets. And that creates a cute little wing. And then a single crochet. And I like my owl to have three, three little wings, so we'll do it again. Three double crochets into the next stitch. And then to finish it off, you just do a single crochet. That's it. And then long tail and fasten off. And you secure this this inside end. Let's do one more. I don't think I explained it very well the first time, so six single crochets into your magic magic ring. 
everybody does it differently. I've always done it this way, but you, you do your magic ring the way you do it, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Close up that magic ring. We're going to increase around. So it's one increase, two increase, three increase, four increase, five increase, and six increase. Here is where we'll shape the wings. So, excuse, excuse the noise, my neighbors are having construction. So let's do three double crochets into the next stitch. So three double crochets. Single crochet in the next. Three double crochets into the next stitch. Single crochet in the next. Three double crochets into the next stitch and finish it off with a single crochet. Once you have secured the ends from the magic ring, you're going to take your tapestry needle and put the long tail through. Make sure that this is the side that is on the outside. This is the wrong side. This side is the nice side, okay? So you line it up next to the eye. I try to line it up with the eye over here, like right here. So you can put, you just see where you like it. You can use pins as well. And then do a series of whip stitches to secure it into place. When I'm done with the other side. And I am just making this video really quick because I want people to be able to make it for the holidays because I know it's gift season and these are really quick really cute gifts that a lot of people in my life really really enjoy and they've been using it for years and years. I have a friend who I made one for back in the early 2000s and she's she's still using it and she has it on her on her purse so these are good for kids and adults and make great teacher gifts too I've made a few for my son's teachers through the years and once you secure that tie it up and you are all done honey what do you think of this owl mm -hmm. it looks good I think it looks pretty good too so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want the written pattern, you can look on Hobium's blog, which I hope to be featured there soon. Um, if you want to support me, you can subscribe and like, leave me a comment, and let me know what you want to see next. If you would like to purchase the, the written pattern to support my small business, you can head over to my Etsy shop and I'll have it there. Thank you for watching the video on my Owl Amigurumi. If you liked it, please let me know and tag me on social media so I can see it. And also, I'm sure you've noticed this adorable mermaid scissor pouch. My friend May from Amikuru May designed this one and it's a quick make. It's absolutely charming and adorable. It keeps my scissors nice and safe and also keeps my fingers safe too so it's not uh, cutting my hands. So head over to the Hobium blog to check these patterns out. Have a nice day. Bye!